everyone, my name is Sue. I'm a volunteer with the Let's Talk Science program at the University of Ottawa. Um, I thought today we'd think about how water gets from the roots all the way up the plant. So maybe it's a tulip and it's a fairly short plant, but maybe it's a maple tree and it's it has to go a far distance. So if you remember, what's the force that pulls us down to the earth? It's called gravity. So gravity pulls everything down to the earth. So how does that water overcome the force of gravity? Well, water, or H2O as we call it in science, so that's hydrogen and oxygen, so water is attracted to each other. It likes each other. It likes to stay together. And it also has bonds in between it that hold it together. So the bonds are kind of like a glue, but not a very strong glue. The other thing is plants have special small tubes for water to travel, water and nutrients, to travel up. And those small tubes have materials inside that water is also attracted to. So it's attracted to itself, it likes itself, but it also likes lots of other materials, including the tubes in plants. So water overcomes the force of gravity because it has this force of cohesion and what we call adhesion, so an attraction to other types of molecules. So water likes itself, that's cohesion, and water likes other molecules, that's called adhesion. And the process of the water moving up is called capillary action. So we're gonna set up an experiment without a plant, but if you have a plant, you could also put a plant in some food colored water and see if the leaves or the flowers change color. So that's one way to do it. I, you've probably seen that at school or maybe you've seen that before on TV or something. But we're gonna do one where we're gonna set it up with a piece of paper towel or a piece of Kleenex or even a piece of paper, uh, toilet paper. It'll work with those. So the, the paper towel or the toilet paper, those things have, uh, not tubes inside, but they have spaces where the water can move and the water moves by capillary action the same way it would in a plant. So you need two glasses, one empty, one with some water in, and it's if they're transparent or see-through it's better because you'll be able to see it, but if you don't have glasses that are transparent or see-through you can just look in later. So what you're going to do is take a piece of paper towel and you're going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Press it down hard just to help make it stay uh, in a shape and then I'm going to tell you that through capillary action, you can get the water from this glass into this glass without pouring it in. So how to do that is to put a piece of paper towel in the glass of water, make sure it's in the water, and then wrap it over into the next glass, just like this. And if you have it down into the glass, if you have it up high like this, it'll take longer and it won't be as, as quick, but if you put it down like that so it's into the glass a little bit more, the process will happen more quickly. So now the water is going to overcome the force of gravity. It's going to move up this paper towel through capillary action. It's going to move over the top and it's going to move down here. And in about, within an hour probably, all of this water will actually be in this glass. So it's kind of a, a way to get water into glass without pouring. So this is paper towel, but you can also do it with Kleenex. So if I take, I'm gonna take this out of here. If I take, now Kleenex isn't as long, so you might have to make it longer, or you could get a piece of toilet paper. So if I take two pieces of Kleenex and I overlap them, so you see the that's overlapping a bit, and then I fold it in half, and I fold it in half again, then I have a longer piece of paper, or Kleenex. So then you can just put it in the same way you can even twist it up if you wanted and then put it in. Now, the Kleenex is not as, doesn't absorb water as easily as the paper towel, so it might take a little longer for this to happen with the Kleenex. And you might need another layer of Kleenex. You can experiment a little bit with this. The other thing you can do, because then you'll be able to see it more quickly, is if you have some food coloring, you could put some food coloring in here. And if you don't, it still works. But if you have the food coloring, it helps you to see it more quickly. So I'm going to take another piece of paper towel and I'm going to fold up my paper towel. You'll be able to see it right here. Take that out of there. And the food coloring dissolves, mixes in with the, the water, and then it gets carried by the water as, it, as, it, uh, as the capillary action happens. So maybe you can see now that the green can you see the green now? It's already started moving up, overcoming that force of gravity because the water molecules like each other, so cohesion, and they like to stick to the paper towel a little bit, so we call that adhesion. So it's moving up and it's gonna move into this cup. 
So I'm not going to show you what happens the rest of the time. I'll let you do that. And what you can do is if you want to turn it into an experiment, you can keep everything the same. Try it with paper towel. Try it with toilet paper. Try it with Kleenex. You can even try a piece of paper maybe from your notebook and try it with that. Does it work as well with the with the paper with the notebook paper. So you can try it with all those different kinds and see how, how it works. And that's capillary action. That's how water gets from the roots all the way up to the plant. All right, have a good day and we'll see you again.